Oh, so you guys want me to make more Hoi4 mod lore videos? Okay, so let's talk about Italian microstates. So San Marino is this tiny little 8 mile long republic surrounded completely by Italy. You're probably asking, how has it not been gobbled up by Italy yet? Well, first we got to go to the year 301 when a guy named Saint Marini fled with some of his followers from Croatia due to religious persecution and founded a settlement on Monte Titano in Italy. Their little settlement grew over time, but still remained relatively isolated from the rest of feudal Italian city-state politics, but got wars and all. There were quite a few attempts by neighbors to conquer San Marino, but when your nation is basically just a glorified mountain fortress, invaders tend to just give up after a while. By the 15th century, they actually had an interesting form of government, which consisted of an assembly of 60 men taken from prominent families of the region. Contrast to every other nation at the time, which just consisted of power being passed down an increasingly inbred succession line of fathers and sons. San Marino survived to the Renaissance, but kinda had seen a decline due to several things, like a failed attempt by the Pope to annex them. So by the time Napoleon rolled around and was conquering Italy, you'd think tiny little San Marino would've been screwed. Nope. Napoleon basically pulled up San Marino's border and was like, hey, these guys are pretty cool, and just let them be independent. Hell, he even offered them some free territory. Even after the end of the Napoleonic Wars during the Congress of Vienna, everyone just let San Marino be. During the 19th century, San Marino gave asylum to a bunch of revolutionaries who had wished to reunite Italy. This actually worked out pretty well for them because after the reunification of Italy, the Italian government just let San Marino stay independent. So fun fact, but after the American Civil War broke out, San Marino gave Abraham Lincoln an honorary citizenship, and Abe actually wrote back to them and basically said they're pretty cool dudes. San Marino remained neutral through both world wars, and even Mussolini just let them be. And we all know that even if they tried, the Italian army would still find a way to fuck up. They did sort of get briefly occupied by Germany in 1944, and then later the Allies, but that only lasted like two months. After the war, they actually became the first country to democratically elect a communist government, which lasted all the way until 1957. Nowadays, they're mostly known for their tourism industry. While they're not a full member of the EU, boy, these are gonna be fun comments, they are a member of the Council of Europe and use the Euro. It also has one of the highest GDPs per capita and overall has a very high quality of life. So, San Marino might not have a place in history as one of the great empires, but considering the fact that they've outlived most of these empires as a tiny little republic, they definitely get a place in my book. Thanks to patrons Trotsky's Daddy, Skylar Weston, Andy Luke, Amit F.A. Simsek, AP Terminator, and Heli Pilot.